The consultants are coming. They're going to buy IPG. They're going to buy WPP, and so on. Um, these are some of the headlines that, that I read regularly in the, in the agency trade press. Um, great headlines, but uh, alas, not quite true. Or at least, not true in our case. I think it is fair to say to the agencies out here that Accenture is coming. They've acquired 17 agencies in 12 months. They've gone public saying they want to be an experienced agency of record. Um, and effectively, they are after, they've recognized as a tech implementation business that UCMOs in the room have very large tech budgets today. Um, so that's Accenture's strategy, and, and obviously, good luck to them. PwC is different. We are an assurance business. We are not tech implementers. Our purpose is to build trust in society. Our aim is to evolve and reform the advertising ecosystem, not to disrupt it. Um, and we absolutely, fundamentally believe that a trusted, transparent advertising ecosystem will lead to more effective campaigns and sustainable growth for everybody, for agencies, for advertisers, for ad tech, and for media owners. Um, and I'd like to give just three examples of, of PwC's contribution in, in these areas. Um, first, fundamentally, advertising is about putting great ads in front of the right audience in the right context. And in my mind, 2017 was the year of context. There were huge uh, publicity around brand safety and what can go wrong. So one of my predictions is that 2018 will be the year of audiences. That's partly driven by GDPR and e-privacy and an increased focus on the uses and abuses of audience data. But I think we would have got to this point anyway, absent of GDPR and e-privacy. A lot of the work that we've done has shown that third-party audience data is often of poor quality. And marketeers are increasingly coming to that view too, based on the survey last month by Digiday, for example. We absolutely believe the audience data should always be verified. We work with many premium media owners, among them Channel 4 and the Financial Times, who were on stage earlier, to verify the quality of their audience data. I think everybody should remember that premium media owners deliver both a quality context and quality audience data. Um, I was also very excited to hear uh, AppNexus on stage earlier pretty much requesting an audit. So uh, I'll be in touch with them later. Um, second example, which Phil's just referenced, is our work with Isbar and Field Fisher developing version two of their media agency framework. Um, we got fantastically positive engagement from the IPA, from the six network agencies, and also from Seven Stars as, as a representative of the independents. Version two, launched just last week, should be easier to apply in practice for both advertisers and agencies. It's being significantly uh, upgraded in areas around digital and programmatic. And that should result in less time for lawyers negotiating contracts and more time for marketeers and agencies focused on delivering great campaigns. And finally, and perhaps most pertinently for this session, um, we've been supporting the UK government on its current media agency pitch process. And we worked with the government and in consultation with the agencies to deliver an RFP that is very firmly focused on campaign outcomes, quality of service, and trans agency transparency. And in return, the winning agency can expect to be properly remunerated for doing a great job. The anecdotal feedback we've had is that agencies are really excited to be taking part in this process. We absolutely believe that the result, to borrow Phil's language, will be an alignment of interests um, between the UK government, representing not just themselves, but also our industry and taxpayers, an alignment of interest between them and the agency that wins. I won't say any more on this topic, because I'm going to hand over to Alex um, to hear his perspectives. Many thanks.